So if there come unto your assembly a man with gold, the gold ring. Now if there come a man unto your assembly with a gold ring. And goodly apparel. And godly apparel, come on, goodly apparel. And there come in also a poor man. And also there comes in a poor man. And vile women. Uh-huh. And if you have respect to him. Then and if you have what? Respect. Respect. Everybody say respect. Respect. To him. To him. That weareth the gay clothing. Where's the gay clothing? And say unto him. And say unto him. Sit thou here in a good place. You sit here. Sit thou here in a good place. Yeah, you sit here. I want you up here. I want you in the best place. Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. And say to the poor. And you say to the poor. Then thou there. You sit out there. Yeah. Or sit here under my foot. Or you just get up here under my foot, though, because you ain't no, you, you just ain't, you ain't seen nothing to you. I'm a little better than you are. See? judgment that you judge your brother. It may take a year. It may take five years. But I'll guarantee you one thing. Brother, you'll be tempted with the same temptation by getting up and talking or doing something wrong one to another. Here's something I don't understand in our churches today. If God forgives all sins, He forgives all sins. Amen. If God puts it under the blood of Jesus, then, brother, that settles it. Come on. But somebody said, you don't go out and live in adultery. I challenge any preacher. I challenge any, uh, I, uh, I challenge any professor. I, try, I challenge anybody, amen, upon the face of the earth uh, to take the word of God and show me where it says uh, that you're living in a Prove it to me. Show it to me. Brother Dill said, you showed me something I ain't seen. Oh, bless God, you're living in adultery. Well, the Bible don't say it. Say you can commit it, but it don't say nothing about living in it. You see, we are so we want to play God. We have said, Amen. And I'm telling you, we say, Well, Amen, and you've done this and you've done that. And I say for you to sit out there, but you come up here. Amen. I'm telling you, honey, there's more devils up here than they are out there. Come on, glory to God. Brother, we have we have tiptoed through the tubes. We have went to says to do it. Right. Hallelujah. I ain't knocking education. I know this ain't too popular of a message. And I don't expect everybody to be on the back of your seats doing a jig. You hear what I'm saying? But I do expect you to thank God to say amen to God's word. If I have respect to person, if I think more of you because you're a white man, amen, and this is my black brother sitting here, then brother the Bible says I commit sin. And brother all sin is going to go to hell. Amen. Come on. Amen. I better not show no respect between you and Brother Westford. Come on, glory to God. For in the sight of God, there is no respect of person. Somebody come on and get happy with me. My God, when we come to realize how that God Almighty is on the throne and He can work through the red man. He can work through the yellow man. He can heal glory to God. I'm through. Amen. Whoever He wants to heal through. And there's nothing you can do about it. I don't care how much you get puffed up. I don't care how much. Amen. You bless God blow up. Bless God's going to, to move through a jackass if He wants to. God will move through a donkey if He has to. God will move through a rooster if He has to. Say amen. Glory to God. And there's nothing a human being can do about it. He is 
praise God tonight. Jesus said in uh, John 3, 17, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Come on, glory to God. May the Lord, I think God bless you, man. He said that the world, I didn't come to condemn you. Come on, glory to God. Now watch this. They bring the little woman that was caught in the act of adultery, brings her up there and says, Jesus, we've taken this woman in adultery. Amen. Jesus said, Thy has rightly judged. But he said, Let me tell you, look, what, what did them turkeys, how did they know that she could, had committed adultery? There must have been some peeping toms around looking in the windows. Come on. Glory to God. But they come up to condemn the woman. And Jesus said, the first one of you, without sin, cast the stone. Come on, you cast the first stone. And brother, they begin to walk out of there. You see, everybody's got sin somewhere or another. You may say, you may want to put your foot down on somebody that is smoking and you're sitting back in your reclining at home watching your R-rated movies and your X-rated movies. Come on. Why don't you just come on and quit condemning and start loving tonight and quit having respect for person. God don't want us to have respect for person. He wants us to love one another. Give the Lord a big God bless you. say, Pastor, you come preach me a revival. Pastor, then I'll have you to come to my church and preach me one. Come on. Uh -huh. Brother Little Evangelist sitting on the sideline saying, hey, coach, when can I get in? Yeah. Hey, come on. When can I get in? Hey, man, when am I supposed to preach? Hello, glory to God. Yeah. But Brother the Walls is coming down. Hallelujah. Yeah. Where God's going to send a mighty anointing through this land to it's going to shake this world and turn it upside down. God's going to let his evangelists get in the game for a while. Come on. Brother, when I built my church, I built it for the evangelists. Glory to God. Somebody, Brother Dale, hey amen, you're a pastor. I don't care. Brother, my doors is open to the evangelist. Glory be to God. And Brother, the pastor and the evangelist ain't the only one pushing this thing. Apostles, uh -huh. and there are some teachers. Yeah. Amen. Hello, yeah. fivefold ministry. Amen. Amen. 